Tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop, the hustle don't stop. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's up? No, no, no. You know my dad walk well, on. I want y'all to stop what y'all doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, if you want to see all our visuals. And to also get you to get all of our exclusive content. That's where you can find all of it. But you have to sign up for our membership now, okay? Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, we got a special guest in there today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. This cat right here, man, he be... Listen, man, this nigga go crazy. A lot of times I look on that internet, man, and I've been seeing a lot of the music, man. I've been really just checking it out, man, and just vibing to it, man. A real, real stomp down. Texas. Yeah. Man, H-Town. <laughs> Acres home. It's going down, man. Yeah. OTB Fast Lane is in the building, man. What's going on? So, what's up? What it do, man? I'm blessed. How man, you feel? Boss Talk 101, man. Just happy to have you, man. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, man, the way we do it, man, we're going to definitely get into your just just your background, man, who you are as an artist, man. Uh, what's up, Mr. Jamaica? Yeah, because I he's the music guy, right? I'm more personal. I want to know you as a person. For sure. So I want to know what was it like growing up in Houston, Texas? What part of Houston you were from? From the north. That's what I thought. Because <laughs> I hear a lot of people talk about North Houston. What is your take on North Houston compared to the, all the other parts of Houston? The north just different. It's like an island. It's almost like, you know, Houston's so big. Just say if you're from there or you're not. You almost like we almost got like an accent or yeah, cause you our, do our character, everything is just a little different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the South Side dog. I got a bunch of players, South Side partners, but it's just a different. Like, even a female said, I can be talking to. A I know she's from the North and say if she was from the South, or you, you got to be tell. from the South. Yeah. Wow. For so sure. who you normally date? That North Side or South Side? On the North. On the north, yeah. you stay with your okay, okay. <laughs> so, were you raised with your mom and dad, siblings, all of that? I was raised with my daddy. With your daddy? Yeah. See, that's different. I like that. Yeah. That's different because everybody else who's sitting in that seat that I ask that question is always their mama they they're with. For sure. Daddy already, you know, he dip in and out, but mm. it's always, and I feel like men need to raise their boys. For sure. So, were you always with him from the get go? Yeah, I was with. Shout my mama too. Me and my mama, it ain't nothing like, well, like my mama ain't in my life. Right. But me and my mama have a great relationship. My mama just from, she from Mississippi. Okay. So, uh, you know, I got other brothers and sisters too. So I went with my dad. How old were you uh, when you went with your dad? This was. They stayed together at first, then she moved back. So they stayed out here together. Okay. Uh, so. She probably had to move back. Mm, I'm probably about six years old. Six years yeah, old. Six. Seven. Okay. Did you feel any sort of way when they split up? And did you, as I really a kid, was too young? Too young. Yeah. Then, then I was, we stayed back and forth. So I don't. Really, nah, I really I don't remember no. Where it just affected me bad on mm -hmm. her side. Like it was always. We was always acting with each other. That's good. Yeah. And I used to always say the good thing about us. It's good to have them together. But the good thing about a split home is that. Number one, you travel a lot. You go back and forth. Yeah. And then I used to always make jokes with my friends. I was like, well, y'all get two gifts <laughs> when it come around to Christmas time. For sure. You know, she got to buy you something and he buy you something. Yep. And then everything you can always. Double. Everything double. Because <laughs> as a kid, that's all you're thinking about. For sure. You know what I mean? What and you it, can get. And it's like two different. You know, you grow up two different. It, it's all the same, but two different. Two different words. You two, get the mm -hmm. line, embrace more. Like, it's. Bigger family, everything, you know what I'm saying? Even with the music hit me. Like I had a whole fan base in Mississippi before. Just out being my mama inside of the family from Oh, there. that's you know dope. It was just like, it just made a lot of sense. So where did you get that music sense from, your mom or daddy? Probably both. My mama loved music. She my loved dad music. loved music. My mama brother was, was doing his little rapping thing. My dad was, you know, they was trying to do their rapping thing. It was just in my family. I'm just in like, your family. My uncles, everything rap on both sides. Dang. Yeah, so. So they're they your biggest to critics, too. All day, for sure. Really? Are they your biggest critics? Yeah, they be on me, for they sure. They be <laughs> Even my grandma, like my. No. My grandma be on. Like, if I, my grandma like my grandma hit me, she like, I yeah, know, it's, it's one of them. Dang. For sure. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. So tell me something that your daddy, since you lived with him um, from a young age, tell me something that he instilled in you from a young age that always stuck with you as a man now. 
uh, really almost everything. Like, because me and my daddy, like, our relationship is like, but you know, I ain't gonna lie, my daddy like from the streets too, so it's like, our relationship was like just so real and raw from early age. Like, mm-hmm. this type of stuff here, tell me probably at 11, 12. Some people gonna tell their kids that type of stuff to 17, 18, so it was like, Mentally, he had me advance just off, even just from morals, principles, how you move, how you carry yourself, just all that at an early age. <laughs> <laughs> he not even noticing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, I mean, uh, just looking you up and just looking at how the people love you, man, like the, the streets, man, they, they kind of say you the new improved, uh, I ain't gonna say improved, you the new generation J-Dog, man. Yeah. How, how does it feel when people compare you to that and just, you know? For sure, that's amazing, though. You know, J-Dog really right from around the corner from, yeah, from for, like for, five for, minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, we both make us home. He just like, he like five minutes around the way. I'm across the tracks. But it really like a blessing though, cause I come out like Jada, like one of my biggest inspirations. So it's like, man, it's just a difference. Cause I, I just remember being when Jada first as a kid, just just the feeling I was getting, or well, still to this day, I still get it no matter if I hear him today. Like, you no, know, time I hear anything, it's just the, how the people love them. Like, I was watching Jada, like, they just love them for who he is, like, you know what I'm saying? Just being Jada, like, it was, he was in people's soul. You know, some people, with the rap game, you have fans probably just love you because how much jewelry you got, or mm-hmm. you got the type, like, they love them for who he was, so that was, like, the type of love I always wanted for, it was like, what well, ain't about my tea, like, love me for me, and, like, and I just, it's, like, amazing when people say that, because I, it's crazy. I hear that all the time, though, but it's great for, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. I know but I'm in the right footsteps. When I had him on here, it's just, uh, just like but about a week or so ago, like he just showed man love to the show and always, you know, just basically I've been knowing him for a long time because he got East Texas ties mm-hmm. down there, his grandma mm-hmm. down there sure. from where I'm from. So he used to come down there a lot. So it was like when we'd hear about hear his songs and hear him screaming, you know, Acres Home, yeah. and, uh, Houston, Texas, you know, sure. we always just rolled with it. But just to, would you say that he inspired you somewhat, you know, coming up as a youngster? Yeah, yeah. A lot, you know what I'm saying? But the crazy part, like where Jada is from and where I'm from, we used to have like a war going on. Really? Like, yeah. So That's like, all right. So that was like y'all were rivals? Oh, most of yeah, y'all basically, like, <laughs> I don't know. But, but it's, it's like, oh, let's, it's like super cool, not like. Right. That's when we was kids. That's and, when you was younger, yeah, right, so right. So that's coming up under him, but even like the one I grew up with, like, it's all love, like super love, so you show the hood, mm-hmm. like super love, the energy there, like, on a whole nother level, but it's just, when Jada, I mean, when he first came out, we weren't just on him. Like, we was hearing it. They were making something, he was making something other, but we weren't just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, cause I love the roots he was going on, but <laughs> I just remember him getting so crazy, but well, I don't care where you was, what, what's going on, what you went through, you had to feel it. Like, the stuff he was preaching and rapping about it, like, touching soul. So, like I say, it always inspired me, cause I just knew, I just remember going to my first J-Dog show ever and just seeing how the crowd just was like, like, you know, some people come out there turn up while right? they have fun. It was more like, you know, that church when Jada was up there, it was like, and they saw some like females, everything. You got people singing. It's like from the heart. Yeah, yeah, that's what like, he said. Like, Storytelling. Yeah, so it's like, it was just like a difference. So it was like, okay, that's like, that's the type of reaction I wanted. Yeah. See, and I never yeah. seen him perform before, but when I think about, because I remember we went to 97.9 to beat um, Car Show, and we, I saw Camille there, and I saw yeah, LL and stuff like that. A bunch of them was there. Mm-hmm. And what I look at when I see people perform is, does he work the stage? Yeah. Like, does he, does j Dog when he performs? j Dog is a totally different spirit. He just sitting yeah. there, and you can feel that pain. Yeah. I already know what I'm like a DMX. Or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he, okay. he mentioned that DMX yeah. was his favorite and, and Pimp C. Yeah. So right. that makes sense what you're DMX saying. DMX is like, that's why I say, that's why I think he's like DMX. Because I didn't have, got to have a conversation with DMX before, and I just like, it's all over. Like, that's why I say with j Dog because he, like I said, his spirit, like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? His energy just automatic. It's like, connection is going to grab. So, and it just you just be locked in. I just want you to go to one of the shows. One of it'll be a great because he like one of the from just the reaction and the energy giving off on that stage. You'll and you can feel it. Show you'll mm-hmm. feel it. Do you feel like you know like when you think about just uh, the way that 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 the music is in Houston, man? 
it'll be a, like a whole, like when you look at Slim Thug and all them boys when they did their thing, man, it was crazy. And then you being the age you are working with all these artists, I was just checking that out. Like, that's a bridge right there, bro. That's great. Like, you know, you got to think about that. That's something to where I, I really value you guys that y'all all link up a lot of times. Yeah, I told Chose the same thing when mm -hmm. he was on here. Like, just the way y'all respect yeah. each other. Even no matter what's going on, y'all gonna always show love just for the city and for the fans. Sure. And I think that's real big that H-Town rock out like that. You know what I'm saying? For sure, super big. That's and I can understand y'all getting into it because yeah. I used to come out there with my cousin, my first cousin from out there. I used to be on Lee and Whitfield and all that over there. And yeah, and yeah it was, it was it, yeah, we go to skate ring fight every every damn night. Yeah, it, it was, was nigga, way back in the Yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, way back, all yeah. the way back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was acting a fool out there for going sure. to Deuce and Park. Y'all too young. Y'all yeah. don't know nothing about that. <laughs> but I had to grow up coming to Miami, live out out there her entire life she passed yeah. away now but ever since i was a kid i always was in h-town or dallas for sure. i'm just one of them guys you know what i'm saying when you're sure. old you just move around a lot especially when your grandma have uh nine boys and five girls you know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> texas man but yeah man um go ahead you talk about um people being you know well j Dog being real and um his energy but i know in this entertainment industry you can come up on some people who come off real but after a while you realize you know they're not as real as they seem yeah. um for other kids because i usually preach to or try to t educate the people who want to be in this industry mm -hmm. the younger kids or even older people who want to the things that they have to be aware of and stuff like that sure. how can you tell someone who is striving to be you or somebody bigger than you what should they look out for you know stuff like that signs that they can know yeah it's really like you're gonna run across, you know, it's like different. Like in the music industry, it's like it depends. Like, you know, sometimes really everybody have a motive. Mm -hmm. But it's like at the end of the day, just come with the game. Like, because it can be a positive motive. They trying to get to where they trying to go, and you trying to get to where you trying to go. I think at the end, of the day, they just gotta know business and business. Just really don't put you to take too much personal, just be an emotional person about everything. Like, you gotta be a person that can take criticism. You gotta be able to understand somebody till you know, or I don't wanna work with you, you can't take a person. If anything, just use that as motivation. Like, I think a lot of stuff go on, we behind like small stuff. It's like, and you just gotta work. And I feel like when you just work in your own lane, man, give off good energy, you gonna, it's gonna come back your way how the universe works. You know what I'm saying? So I think overall, and I just, me, I'm an energy person. So you know what I'm saying? I don't just go by words. Like some people, I just can feel it like, I'm I'm super spiritual connected, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like I can go off of just a feeling, like. Ugh. And you've never been wrong. Nah, I'm not usually. <laughs> That's like one of the gifts I got. So I'm yep. connected, it's like it ain't probably not me. Probably be God just protecting me. Cause it I is pray every day. It every, is every time I wake up, every night I go sleep, just mm -hmm. pray, keep your shield around me. So it's like it probably just be him sometimes, even if I'm just. Well, I'm gonna say in the music industry, because the streets, you know, I can tell it's it's mm -hmm. a different in it. You know what I'm saying? You come from there, you can see it, you're gonna see signs. But just say with the music, like, it's almost the same thing, though, because I, it's just a feeling, man. No, it's real. It's I mean, prayer feeling. is real. I don't know how they explain prayer it. is prayer. Yeah. Like, like, before you walk in this door, you in there, brother. Like, I pray that this interview be great. I pray, man, before you get here. When you leave, I pray that you're safe. I pray when I heard that y'all was coming from Houston. So it's a whole different ball game we dealing with boss talk. I ain't playing sure. no games over here. Like when sure. it come down to what God put in my path. You know sure. what I'm saying? I'm being real with you. So I don't know what other niggas do, but over here, it's about God first. Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody, you watch any episode, he's going to be like, that nigga there, he think he a preacher. I don't mm -hmm. care what you say, nigga. Like I know you need God, nigga. I come from nothing. That's why you got to put it on him. Like, well, you go, go, you want to get them yeah, bad shit. Like, like, no, just keep talking about on, God. Man. He gonna, gonna get it right up out of here. <laughs> so, uh, OTB. I tell him that all the time. I said, when you talking to to people on the phone and whatever, just start mentioning God. You see how quickly they they say, okay, <laughs> I gotta go. Get over there. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta OTB go. fast lane. Like, where did your name come from? Where, how did you come up with it? Uh, what? Who who called you that first? What's up? OTB. That's like the label off the block. Okay. Uh, fast lane. I really got that. Like, uh, I'm like the first person called me that. Like. Uh, I'm gonna say Conrad. Okay. Like, oh, guy, like, oh, here from the hood. Real one. And it stuck. Yeah, it stuck. It was just me being hot. I just remember this when I was just wilding as a young age. I got drugs, guns in the car, everywhere. I'm just really was waiting on the 
ticket to the penitentiary. She yeah, was always in the fast lane. We were, yeah. You in the fast lane, boy, you move fast. I really just stuck with that. Yeah. First, they were just calling me killer in the hood. Yeah. Yeah, so it was fast lane killer. Then I just took the killer out just for better. Yeah, yeah. And that was your music name at first before yeah, I re- the fast yeah, lane it was, killer. Yeah. It was killer. Yeah, I seen. So first, it was just killer. 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 Just called him killer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you got, got music. A lot music, of music yeah. under that though. Though sure. you got some music under that name. Music, sure do. Too. I watched it. Um, man, it's just like I said. Uh, it's, it's dope. What you got? No. So um, I hear you talk about God a lot. Who implemented God in your life as a young kid? I'm gonna say my auntie. My auntie Nasha. My auntie Nasha. She used to make us go to church. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, like, yeah, oh yeah, I spent like her house used to go down to my jumping, like early age, like we was doing the most at her house, stand up all night till the sun come up, tan the kitchen down, <laughs> <laughs> and all the snacks up, everything. Now she just really just let us do whatever, but she was stumped down when it come to like, hey y'all get up, y'all clean up, y'all gonna, go. y'all gonna, mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She put them house morals in, then on Sunday y'all stand up here, or y'all going to church, so she really. It started with me like, okay, for instance, a little kid, like, y'all going, to, y'all, we're going to have all this fun in the world, but you going to church. Right. But how old were you when you built your own personal relationship? Because they, parents can always, or adults can always implement it in you, but as kids, you don't really build that relationship yet till you go through some. Yeah. When was that bridge or that time when you had to go through something for you to build that relationship with him, your, yourself? Oh, uh, I'm saying. I'm gonna say it was all since a kid. I'm gonna say it, it still started as a kid for me because, like, you know how your people can take you to church, and but I just took you, like, you know, happy kids ain't gonna listen. I just took you, and you're like, nah, she is stop. Hey, 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 you, your turn for your scripture. Okay, and I come back with that scripture was talking about. Like, she really like installing in you. So it was like, so I was feeling connection. So it's just be smart thing we used to go through. A, she really like, you know how some people just can show you, she really mm-hmm. and taught us, okay, that's look at that's God. Look at uh certain little things can happen. It can be the smallest things going around now. And you like, got it from yeah, a young age. Yeah, she got she gave it to us young. And like I said, explained it instead of just, you know, some people just take you to church, leave, mm-hmm. never talk about it and then just we're gonna go again next Sunday. But like I ain't gonna lie, she didn't steal to it. it was like But just to answer your question, as I got older, like so many situations, like, I know God with me, like, mm-hmm. I'm talking about a crazy situation with, like, how you come up out of that, or, mm-hmm. or yeah. how you get back up from there, like, When like, so many other people didn't. So many, I'm t- everybody I grew up with, I almost, like, I know, I got so many, that's why I just, I got so many, I just know I'm blessed, I got so many homies in jail, like, I just been through the worst of all types of stuff, God just to bless me, like, even from the smallest thing, just to bless me to still just always be protected and get away with things. I guess because of the music, I always feel like it's a music because I can teach other people not to do that. And people listen just with the type of power and respect I got. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like time after time. like. So he using you as an apostle to help others see what you see. For sure. Wow. Well, That's good. Um, busting behind tent, um, when you... You did that when you was with 300. Yeah, and sort of. Was that your first and last album with 300? Yeah. yeah. What, what was, uh, what was, what is it like being now, you independent now, right? Yeah. Versus being connected to a label like that. I ain't gonna lie, like a label, like if you, if it's in your favor, it's like great to be with. It's like great. But if it's not in your favor, it's like, it's almost like this. Like you and your wife, she believe in what you do. So it's like, it's great for her to be right there. But it's, if she didn't believe in what you do, then it'd be a, it'd be a waste, or vice yeah. versa. If you believe in what she do, but if you didn't believe in what she was doing, it'd be just a, you know, it's a, yeah. a friction. So it's all about if it's in your favor. But if both of y'all in the same place, it's gonna be, it's gonna see, you know, it's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what it's the label. Like when I when I interviewed uh, Derez Deshaun, it was the same type question. Like, um, like being he's independent now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he was with when when Hardaway and all that was jumping off. Like everybody mm-hmm. was there, and it was just so much. Every the label they was expecting this, expecting that. How tough is it being building your team without having that label presence? I mean, it's still tough. It's tough. And that thing about label, I know. Like most artists get in there, like 
I went through the stage where I'm like tripping with the label. It's cool. I ain't really tripping with the end. I know it's not personal. I know it's business. They want it's expectation because it's business now. It's like, say if it was pro football, you got to perform. Okay, you ain't performing, putting no stats up. Hey, you might come in Tuesday and your locker empty. Mm. So I think the same thing like me is about making money once you get with a label. Like, can you make money or are you not? And sometimes the label ain't hit a bill. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's good to go in on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Hot, you on fire. Okay, you got to woo to woo me because I'm, I'm ready to go now. Sometimes I think even with me, I just went in on them. I went in a little too early. Yeah. And I think that's what it was. It was like I went in a little too early. Yeah, because a lot of times I think he was telling me, he was like, there was uh, times when things was happening with his, some of the stuff that was going on that he, he would ask somebody and they didn't have an answer for him and he might ask another person and they didn't have an answer for him. And it just, it was tough trying to understand how they were building up when everybody was telling him different stuff. Yeah. So it just, like, I think the independent thing with the way, you know, like when I talked to Bun, you know, it was like, I was like, how many uh, videos do you think you should have, like, per project? And he was like, I think you should have a video for every project because you got all these different access to all these different cameras and mm, stuff now. Sure. So it's like there's no reason for you not to. So what do you think about that? Do you for agree sure. with that? Yeah, because it's all about content now. So it's like, like right now my project is dropped. I'm like 10 videos in. Like I'm I seen it. Drop like every yeah. week. I think that's like everything. And another thing, you just need a great team, like, People that's willing to work though, like a great team. Like, okay, if I'm get out there and leave it all out there, I need you to do the same. If I'm a sacrifice, dedicate, get up early, I'm tired, I ain't feel like doing I want to do I need to know the person on side and gonna put that same energy in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, if I'm missing a couple hours for my kids, I need to know you willing to do that too to make it better for the long run. Like, you just wanna have that right team because independent, you can go, you can, you can do some damage. Like, and everybody around you, can make millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody see you, so like, I love the independent stuff too at the same time, cause right now this was best for my situation. So mm -hmm. I know as of right now with me being independent, I can just go to work. Even though I said, I never said just, I never get with a major again, cause if, man, if, the right, if I can get to where I wanna go and that present itself, yeah, I do it for sure. Cause I know it'll take you to a, it's like a more easy, it's like a whole different experience. It's really beautiful. Only people that complain, the people that it didn't work for. You think about but some I, of Sorry, let me ask this real quick. Okay. But I I would always think that um I always say God put us through different things, um, different situations previously so we can know what to ask for next time as you move along. So as an artist, like a major approach you, how much say so would you have to say, okay, I'm not gonna settle for less than this, 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 this is what I want because of situations that you have been in in the past so you know exactly what to do, what not to do and stuff like that to secure yourself. For sure. Can you actually do that with them? Yep, you can do that. And that's what most, oh, so <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's what most artists don't do. That's what I didn't do. Most people go in and buy with the money you got from Right, the back, right. But you can go in there, like right now I signed another deal, I want dental insurance, life insurance, like I'm going So they give like all of that. that. You can negotiate you anything. Can negotiate anything. anything. Money, you That's person. right. And all right. You, we finna make some money, yeah, I'll give you life insurance. Yeah, I agree. Just think, see, if you pass, they finna get all this money, eat off of it. Your kids might not be set up to get none of it. Right. And then that, usually when they come at you, you at your peak, you at your highest point. Mm -hmm. And that's when they they want to, you know, eat off of you really because sure. you hot. That's right. why they want you. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Like, And then a lot of times you're younger. Yeah. So now that you get older, you have kids yeah. in the process a lot of times. Sure. Think about that. And then those type of things, what you just said, become a big deal. Yeah. Because now you, you know, like, damn, man, I got to make sure everybody good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you want the support. Because at the end of the day, they making so much. Okay, this is some part of We making, that's like, if us three made millions of dollars together, say if I get in a situation, we family when we making these millions, mm -hmm. but I get in a situation now I'm on my own and Right. Wow. But y'all still making millions off me like mm -hmm. any person gonna feel kinda you know what I'm saying? So I think you need to go in there, even me and say next time I'm going, I'm gonna have so much different little smile, even just creativity and people are always making more about what the how much money they gonna give me, like but the stuff we complain about never gonna got nothing to do with the money. It'd be the stuff we ain't going to ask about or 
the release or let's come up with me a real release schedule so I can know when I'm dropping or, okay you got other big artists on the label let's guarantee me a feature from each one of these exactly the that, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's you know something that I think a lot of people don't sure. ask about because I heard so many people sit in the seat and be like you have all these big artists but you have no features with them mm-hmm. or you sign to this label and now when are you putting something out and they're like I don't know because it's almost like the label will shelf you For sure. to pay attention to other artists yeah. Let's talk about the talk of the streets, man. Like what what the new project, like what what where did the name come from? What's up? You the talk of the streets, right? <laughs> Nigga, talking you the streets. talk of the streets. For Ain't sure. nobody told me nothing, man. I'm <laughs> old and shit. I need to be I gotta keep my ears to the ground. So let's talk about mm-hmm. it. Like like um what in, you've done so many projects. What's different about this project, you know? This project really just a feel maze. I'm just on the Ain't no features on it. I know I ain't want none on it. <laughs> I got songs with mostly everybody. Like I Yeah, I know you do. I seen first. that. But you did this one like <laughs> so, you what made you like, I ain't put nobody on this I'm one. I'm just on my new journey. You know what I'm saying? I just uh, I'm back in the pen. I'm just on my new journey. I named Talk of the Streets because that's what's been going on. Talk. You now I've been having good talk, bad talk. You would just say from the streets <laughs> to the music, even just saying the music, some people Oh, what Fast Lane gonna do? Or he been quiet two years. The label got him over on hold. I just been to talk. People yeah. wondering what's going on with me. So, no, I'm yeah. like, okay, I just, well, I'm gonna name it Talk of the Streets then. Mm. That's all. What's yeah. your favorite uh, song on that on the album? Uh, I really, I got different favorites. I right? know it. Different time call for different favorites. Yeah. Different moves call different for different moves, time. So it's like, <laughs> Nigga ride me like, oh, sure. I like this one right here, right now. And I just been vibing later though. It's like it's getting a little chilly outside. I've been listening to Rodeo. Okay. Like one of my favorites. Rodeo, that's your, that's the one. Yeah. Which oh, one is really? going to be the streets favorite? I don't know what I'm saying right now because they, they picking up on them. So many of them. <laughs> but I know like my type of, the crowd, like my turnt crowd, or I'm going mm-hmm. crazy word for word at the club. I know hot. Like oh, high, hot, hot a bad one. I like that. Like, I like how I know. I'm a fan of hot niggas. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I know they gonna be super man. Tight. You you mm. killed that that like I said that hot went in. I was listening to it. I got into a vibe. Nigga. I was like this nigga going crazy, man. That boy done sampled that Project Pat yeah. on this whole nigga. I know what's going on That's this one. I'm an old for. nigga. <laughs> See, when I heard that Project Pat on that old, really when it oh, come man. in and then you ate on that old. Sure. I was like, yeah, this nigga on it, dog. I, I, I told you, nigga, I'm over. I'm a I'm a music head. Yeah. If you ever watch the show, nigga, be like that nigga love music because that's what it is. I'm yeah, I'm I'm all the kids that sound. I'm old nigga that listen to sound. What I do to you in the truck all, all the time. She gets sick of it. I'm like, who's saying that? She like, I ain't heard none of the song. Come on. I'm like, nigga, that's such a such. <laughs> I can't like do it. Man, I have to actually hear the words to know what song it is. He can just hear the beat just from the get go. I hear the damn the song. Song. Exactly nigga. I is. love music. Oh that why the that why the show go crazy is because of the love I have for the music. The people passion, try people yeah. be trying to figure it out. They're like, nigga, I just love music. My kids love music. Our daughter. So, have everybody in the life, family love. Like going crazy. I mean, I yeah, love the love music. The yeah. yeah, it's like when I when I research, I'm like, oh, this nigga right here, nigga, I ain't just, I'm really trying to see if this nigga good or not. Sure. If he ain't, I might be in fighting this old nigga. You got to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> but I loved it, man. Just uh, just really like, man, keep, keep killing them, bro. Stay on these niggas' neck. They need this, bro. Got these niggas, right. that, it's a lot of bad music out here. Quit playing. Y'all niggas be trying to be nice, nigga. Sure. It's some trash out here like my boy Bubba Dub mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but then you need the, the real, the real, you know, the real essence of the music to stay. That the real gonna stay, the fake gonna fade away anyway. Sure, it's even like that in the streets. That's just the way it goes. They got a little tape play out. Yeah. But the generation that we're in is like, it's all about um stardom it's all about it's not really about content about good music it's about crazy stuff yeah. like who can go viral who with this who can do the most shit. who can do the craziest thing who can how do you feel about that the way how this industry is going where that no, is let concerned. me ask him just like i asked these other niggas man how far will a nigga go for exactly. views you know what i'm saying like you nigga, you gonna get what, what you gonna do to get on top you know a lot of people when they talk about the baby they say he put a pimp on down there side by side west and went crazy sure. uh, what are we gonna do man you already done paved your lane so it ain't much to jump out the window but how far will a nigga go to get views you know what i mean man niggas will go <laughs> yeah, niggas go to penitentiary get views. You see like, what I'm saying? Crazy, get they like, get, no, get killed. Yeah, go go to the graveyard for sure. For some damn for views, views, bro. 
Say the wrong thing, <laughs> nigga might pick. It's certain niggas ain't gonna deal with. It. I just had a nigga on here, ain't trying to hear none of that. Yeah. The internet shit came to the streets, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't talk to him. The like, streets is the internet. Yeah. <laughs> like, like mm -hmm. nigga was talking. Next yeah, thing you, you know, right. nigga was at the doctor trying to live, nigga, cause you said the wrong thing on the internet. You got to be careful out here. You got saying to. this stuff on these podcasts and I, don't, I jump it on live talking about say nigga, 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 but you ain't really built like that. For sure. Even you know if that? you is, it don't even matter no more cause like, even if you is, like, they don't care if you got 10 of them. Yeah. yeah it don't matter. 11. That's real. You but it becomes such a them, norm. You ain't gonna make it till you live. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really care like nowadays because like, every, everybody, you got to renew your lease every day out here because like every day somebody waking up feel like everybody saying going. So that's but real. No, but then, t well, not saying no, but what I, I, I've seen and I'm not street, I don't know anything about any of this stuff, but I know that back in the day before the internet, if somebody says something to somebody, it should usually be in your face or even if you heard that this person say, you're going to go check that person. Sure. Now I've seen where so many people have gotten so much passes. They on the internet saying this, 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 but nobody's getting checked. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You Back in the day, I mean? we check a nigga from a kid, nigga. A nigga take a uh, nigga, uh, that pen, nigga, she had knocked that pen off a nigga's shoulder. You know, we want to get close up and knock that match off Seven. a nigga's shoulder. You know, this is something that's different now. Nigga right. can't even get to a nigga a lot of time, but if you see him, like you said, it's another bar, you man. never know what could happen. That's why so much, it be uh, just say if I don't get past it, just time just pass. Cause like, a lot of time, like, cause on the internet, you can just you can thug from long distance. Like, you know, I know that like, man, you we edit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I go on there and say the worst thing. Like, man, I'm gonna do this when I see you. You say the same, but man, we probably live in two different states. I probably ain't finna never see you. You ain't finna man. see me. But you got niggas that clown do that for the attention, like on there. So like. No, so the, we be seeing most of the time these niggas don't even be in the same area to even do nothing to yeah. each other. So, OGB, oh, so, 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 so these niggas, niggas are doing anything for views. They go right back I to the views. Told you, if a nigga go to the graveyard or the penitentiary, that's the most you can do for anything. <laughs> that's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> like, that's real it, stupid, it's about, bro. It's about fame nowadays and popularity. I just don't get into it. I ain't gonna lie, I see, keep it moving. Like, just tell my little nigga, don't do that. No, Let's I'm talk, that's what not to do. When you're talking about extreme stuff or um, things that are eye-opening or crazy, like recently, um, Kevin Gates, he performed on stage. Oh, how far will you go to make sure <laughs> your fan get taken you care of? That fan. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Where that fan came on and sat there and then he... I heard she was pregnant, and too. And she was pregnant, yeah, yeah. too. Um, would you... How far will how, OTB fast lane right, go? on a performance will you, will you on stage. Will you take a girl up there and... Uh, that's Gates though. That's where he been. He been no, I'm down. asking you. I ain't worried about that nigga. That ain't, I'm asking that ain't, that ain't what, what I you do. You would never do that like that. That ain't what I do. But Gates, <laughs> Gates like one of my favorite rappers. So I'm, you know, I'm with Gates, and that's what that's who he is. That's like, how you get down. Look at all his shows, and you know, Gates always go all the way in. His world. He just out his top. He ain't by himself. Usher out here taking nigga wives too. <laughs> Shit, I don't even go to <laughs> Usher. I'm not even definitely not going to Usher show. But he said, I don't, I don't blame the artist. I, I always say the female is the one who consented to go up there and do yeah. that. You see what I mean? Whatever it is, whether it be Usher, Gates, whoever, for sure, she had she got up and did it. So That's I can't blame right. So yeah. I can never blame the artist for I heard it. you pregnant. Mm. No, I saw the video where it showed her pregnant? little bump. Yeah, showed Damn, her bump. I'll be mad. She that probably little guy. My that baby mama. Like she wouldn't go there for nigga. I'm back like a fool. But if that I'm was your baby mama, mama house, would you be mad? <laughs> if that was your baby mama, would you be mad? See me with female. <laughs> look, that, I'm a, with me with female, I let them be who they is, so you can know who they is. A lot of time, people don't. Just say males, niggas, they want their females to be who they want them to be. I like females to be who they is, so I need to know that's what you really want to do so I can. That's an hour. That's who you is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I'd be. Nah, okay, see if I probably feel somewhere, but I just know my probably, mm -hmm. if we together, but if, that's what, if I know that's the type of baby mama I got, I know that's her. Oh, yeah, that's her. Would you ever <laughs> want to work with, work, work with Kevin Gates? Yeah, that's, I tell that's like one of my favorite. Yeah, his favorite. I got like a long story about it with Gates. Like I, to my from way back in the day before Kevin Gates, I'm still a little like get before Kevin Gates popped off, like laying in the city rocking. That's like every day for like two, three months. Really? Straight. Yeah, for sure. Man, that's hard, bro. Let's talk about dog ass, man. That that was big. I know you. I I was like at first I asked that nigga about that damn song. Yeah. Nigga that answered a million. I see every interview he talking about dog, dog ass, ass with these niggas. Sure. Did it? But the remix was hard. 
with 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 Boost and the original. I, I love the I love the vibe of the music. The energy was there. Everybody crunk. You know what I'm saying? The school was crunk yeah. for this nigga. This nigga been all up at the high schools like and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about it for a minute. Like, what was the inspiration? And I know you said it before. Let's get down to it though. Like, what made you write that song? I ain't write the motherfucker. Well, what made you do it? Just the energy. I ain't gonna lie. I went to the store like that's like. I ain't do nothing special. It just ended up being the biggest song I got so far. <laughs> so, but. I'm going to ask him like I asked Gator Man and all the rest of them. Do you like singing it? Nah, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas don't like their favorite song. Because you say so much. You sing it so much. Yeah. <laughs> and it's never been like, I never, that ain't what I ride around to. Like, I never, not even from the jump. Like, when I, I just know, he, like, I just know how to make, I got a good ear for music. I know how to make good music. All, if you listen to see, I got all type of yeah. vibes. Like, I yeah. just. Like, I know what I'm doing. So, like, I just knew it was one of them ones. So, I yeah. came back. I just was saying, dog, hey, that little dog, yeah, I came back to the lab, come from the store. He had a beat that I could put it on. I went and then just went off the head. Berserk. It was it. Yeah. What verse, in the, what verse in that song that everybody always loved? Dog, dog yeah, yeah, from yeah. the from the e, 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 from the intro to the outro. <laughs> the yeah, whole yeah, thing. Well, not for sure. Wow, that's crazy, man. Like, so I was it, like, Boosie. Boosie jumped on that hoe. For sure. That nigga there, that nigga been rapping hard the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna Boosie rap gonna hard on everything he do, man. So sure. how was it when you when you heard his touch to it, when you first heard his verse, how was it? Shout out Boosie. It really was crazy though, cause it's just how it happened. I knew he was then boosted. Like, he one of my favorite people, like, or favorite hustlers. Like, I learned different shit from different artists, you know what I'm saying? Boosted, like, the nigga can hustle like Boosted. You know what I'm saying? You can eat forever, make me eat forever. Boosted got one of the best hustlers. Like, he got this shit figured out. He gonna generate ends forever. But I'm asking so OTB, God dang, what? How did you feel when the, you first heard that nigga rap you on your beat, on I your song? Like, that's why I'm telling you. What did you I'm say? I'm giving you the rundown on it, how I feel about him. So, of course, it's like, I feel like a when whole you heard it. way. When I heard it, I knew he smashed, he ate. And it was just, it wasn't even the vice, it was just me and Boosty, like, Y'all vibed out in the studio like, when y'all done that? I, I sent he sent it to, it to him, you? Yeah. Okay. He called and asked me, well, he was with Slim, like, he missed. He said, hey, uh, send me that song. Boosie had came to Houston like three times. Every time he had somebody contact me, like, man, first, man, who song that is? Who, who? Like, he was steady just ask. So him and Slim was together one night. I land on my car. Slim, Slim Thug. Shout out Slim Thug. Shout out Slim Thug. Thug. His name been coming a lot. He ain't been on ball talk. Say, look here, nigga. <laughs> Say, I text niggas right on the show. Slim, you got to come see me, man. Go ahead. He going to come, though. All right, I'm tied in. I'm, I'm locked in hard. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Slim, that's my boy. Man, he called me. He was like, boo, on high let you. I'm like, what's he? He was like, man, send it to me. I'm going to do that motherfucker right now. I got to do it. Wow. Send it to him. Shit, he sent it back. I, I knew it. Cause when he got on there, man, dog ass was down there. This he was he was right there. It was already on. It was on. Now this was before the Vlad Boosie. This uh, this was before all the interviews uh, and all the yeah. internet stuff going yeah. on. Boosie here, Boosie there, Boosie everywhere. IG, we locking him out of IG. <laughs> he back on our mama that man on live again. All this shit, right? So like <laughs> Well, that's so, the difference in the music, though. The music's still the same, ain't it? That last, that last project hit hard. Boosie just hit that. But you feel like what I'm God saying? God in this shit. God is in it. Mm -hmm. Family issues, no matter what. I think that bring the best out of him, to be honest with you. Like, a lot of times niggas be like, man, because I done met him. You see him on the wall with me there, but he just a, a person that you get. What you see is what you get. So, I'm kind of the same way. So I get, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it every time to say I'm going to be me. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it might be seem a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm going to let you know how I feel and we're going to keep it going. But that's one thing I can say. That last project he did, it didn't, it didn't, man, that whole went in. And Boosie got the streets, but Boosie ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere, is he? And he stand up for the real niggas, the it's real men. Man, Boosie got Shit. the streets. So he a real nigga. Like, real. Even after he did the song, I go out there, hey, I'm going to come out there. Hey, nigga, pull up on me in my house. Wow. Y'all rocked out. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk One about thing I like about yeah. Boosie is the fact that no matter if he sees something going on that's wrong out there, he's not scared to jump up on social media and talk about it. A lot of people will hold their tongue or just talk between somebody else here or where, mm. but not actually go on live and talk about it so people know their views and stuff. Sure. You know what I mean? That's one thing I, I give him his props for is the fact that he's very vocal and he don't care who know it. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, Big Pokey, right now. Yeah. Let's talk about it, man. R.I.P. the Big Pokey, R. man. So. Like you guys did that song together. You jumped on the song with him. Like, let's talk about the, uh, you know, um, let's talk about the music. Let's Sector talk when I'm buying from Hector. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's talk about that, boy. You know, because that's what he'll be proud of. Sure. You know, that's the whole game with me. Like, like we gonna celebrate his his, his life. You know what I'm saying? I like, choose. how was it dudes. when y'all when y'all did that song and stuff together in the video? Man, I'm gonna talk about real. That. And that was like my first time just meeting Poker, just sitting vibing with him for a little time frame. Poker, real man. To my even just we talking like, bro, you special. But I just been watching. You know, I know I ain't probably. I've been watching it like, nigga can't do what you can do, bro. You can hit so many different angles with this. It like, bro, it ain't nothing you can't do. Like, bro, you you special, bro. You got to take that to this. Like, well, I had to get you on this album. I say the vibe with him doing the song was just perfect. And he just a legend. Like, see, I want I just I just love the niggas who did it before me. Cause I just know how hard it is to do this shit. Then I'm just a fan of this shit, the passion. And so it's like, no matter how big a nigga get in this shit or how far he go with it, like, Man, if you want the one I love and I, I felt it in my soul, I fuck with you forever. So it was like, man, it was a blessing to fuck with Pokey. You know what I'm saying? Pokey, like, 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 when he passed, I know ESG called me. He was like, man, he gone. It was like two thirty three in the morning. I'm not playing. Like, um, how was it when you heard that he had passed on? Man, did you you had to stop and think for me? It shut the city down for a second. For then sure. I wasn't even in the city, but I was coming from a show like by Cotton Station. Wow. Or when I seen the video, I was in the car like, hey, like Pokey. Like, it like it, it's fucked up. I can tell how he feel. Like, know what I'm saying? I just knew how he feel. I said that shit in the car. Like, we were, and the nigga was like, damn, you know, we riding in the car, come from the show, smoking, getting high and shit. And they turn radio down. Like, damn, man, you see this shit happen, bro? Like, that shit real was fucked up. Know wow. what I'm yeah, for and, sure. and, it, and like I said, for the city, I know it, it, it sent volumes, man, because he was such a. A, a, a figure, I kind a legend, really. For you know, when it come show. down to what he do Super and how y'all do it down there, for you can't deny that he, without him, this whole thing gets real quiet. You know what I'm saying? And you guys, man, for you to be done done a song with him, that was big because I wanted to interview him. I got to text him a phone where I was texting him, texting his people, text trying to get him. I'm trying to get all y'all, bro, to sure. be honest with you. And I, when I was in Houston, when me and you was supposed to link that yeah. first time, when me and Propane got, I was trying to get him in every time. I'm just trying, man. And and but. But you know, I was I was close. Sure. It didn't happen, but I was close. Somebody told me, "Hey, Aldi said I probably just need to go over there and eat some food with him and hang out at his house or something." Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know that type of nigga. Kiki used to be on. That's like, right. You know, me and Kiki shit, rock. So you so, know, like like Kiki was on the show too. I was like, I'm close, nigga. I knew I was close. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because he rocked with the same people I rock with. Aldi, all yeah. of them be over. So you know, that's sure. I, I sure wish that would have happened. But man, just to see y'all got to do that song is a big thing. I can go back and listen at that. Yeah. I can see his video. Video. Yeah. You know, do you realize how people, even when you go, still gonna know? This like Chuck E. Trill. Like I, I just was looking at some of his stuff. I'm being real. Yeah. Like that stuff really means something to me because I, my parents, I always say this. I didn't get to. I didn't. They didn't go, and yeah. I wish I had something that I could see. They Look movements. Yeah, sure. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So for yeah. you to have that, do you ever think about that? Yeah, that's a blessing. You that's know, a blessing. I lost loved ones, so it'd it be stuff I wish I can know. I wish I had a. Video, I wish I had it, man. Some of my homies, and you know what I'm saying? So I know it's a blessing. Even like Poker is different because he legendary. It's something I love to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like different. Like, oh, this big Poker, man. That was like, big. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was big, bro. You can still hear his voice For through sure. his music, all of that stuff. Wow. In the conversation we had, our last conversation, he just gave, he really gave me my flowers. Like, what did he say? When I was, like, I was telling him, he was just telling, like, bro, you, you, bro, you got your energy. Like, bro, you a, you crazy on that microphone, like, yeah. bro, like, for, they just coming from Big Poker, that meant so much to me, like, he basically, like, bro, you legendary, and, like, bro, you just in the lane where, bro, once the world get a hold to you, it's gonna be nothing they can do with you, bro, like, you want yeah. yeah. sure, so, like, to Yeah, I like the fact that y'all got to, y'all got to do that, bro, yeah. and you got to talk with him, that, that stuff is priceless. But that's you why. You can't I, put no price on it, bro, sure. at all. That's why I always say every day you're supposed to treat it like it's your last. Make an impact on somebody else's life because just like what you said, the last thing he said to me, no day's promise. You want people to say the last thing he said to me was something that encouraged me. That's For something sure. that, you know what I mean? I tell everybody all the time, you have to encourage other people, be an example to other people. Because mm -hmm. you never know. I got to talk about Peanut, your manager, sure. man. Yeah. Got to talk like about my him brother. too. I just, you know, he said like my brother. Peanut, like. Because... 
He just thought doing we need to do something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just, he's like my bro, my bro. I know people be saying my message. I know, because they just would. That's what the internet like, got yeah, out there. The internet is like, more like my brother. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and big, big, big part of yeah. who you are and what you do today. Sure. I think that's live. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Um, what else? What else? What else? What we got? Gotta talk about my brother, man, because he was like one of them persons. That's what I was saying. Pretty never like a person, man, you meet. One time, you know, for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, it's very few people that like, you can be mm-hmm. like that. Like, I only can run, run across you one time, be in the same room, 30 minutes, have a conversation. And I remember you forever. That's right. That's good. He That's good stuff. Them, like, he was like one out of me. Like, he just personalized his energy. You just, man. Because y'all out. energy mesh. Yeah. It was meant. For sure. He That's could good. fit in any room, like, with anybody. It's like, he, he lit up rooms when he went in there. Just a natural, just it ain't had nothing to do with the music, you know. We that came, I don't know, it was just like been my home way before music, everything, yeah. Wow, how many kids you have? Two, two, a boy and a girl, two girls, two girls. Ooh, <laughs> they got you around your little thing around their little finger. Yeah, yeah I'm in a blender. <laughs> so, <laughs> how old are they? Two and 12. Oh, three and 12. My bad, dang, yeah. that's a big old gap. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so how is it being a girl dad? And it's really like, it's a little stiffer. I think it's a little more harder because like, now you gotta really talk. Like, you know, little boys, they pick on different things, they can feel you like. I, with girls, you gotta really be a father. It's like, cause females just period, they want conversation, they want mm-hmm. attention, they need all that. So it's like, you gonna have to come out like, you gotta be a father now like, with the little boys, you just can lead the way and they gonna follow. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You give them a little game in there, they fucking up somebody with little girls. You gotta do this every day. They go, you know, they emotional going through things and all that type. So you gotta be more of a communication, gotta be there more of than them just showing them because they don't really care about the nothing material, no mm-hmm. new joints, none of that. They want that They attention, want that time. That time and that conversation. So it's like a whole different ball game. But then you, you still also got to leave because one thing I've always noticed about little girls is that they usually end up dating their dads. Yep. So however you are and however you treat them, that's how what they look for. And Whether they, they know to. it or yeah. not, they look for that in the next guy that you know they want to date. For sure, because they dads be like they first love, so it's like mm-hmm. they have me just right, just doing the, even just because they pay attention to everything. So it's like how I treat them, talk to them, how I act around them, some stuff I dumb down. Like even though I they know I can explain, except my older one, she know every, from the streets to explain. Okay, this what I'm explaining. This what not. Okay, this where we coming from. Or with the woo. Just so when she sees, she can recognize it and kind of about to just run it on her. She won't be fooled. No, I, now that go back to when you was talking about some people be real. Then, mm. but I, I really just give it to her. She can feel energy, body language. She can read. You know what I'm saying? Or, oh, somebody just why ask them why they doing all that for you? You know what I'm saying? Just do you give it to her? Just like if she was a boy, or do you still you know are you shy back and you only give her like some? Nah, you know how yeah. parents treat girls and boys differently. I give it to her though, cause I tell her the time. I gotta have you a uh, can't no nigga run no play no games on your top. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, that's real. I'm gonna give it to you. I got to, cause I already do that. Then see you hurt somewhere crying. You oh. know what I'm saying? Make it- I got one more question for you, where your daughter is concerned. Did your music change any bit? Once you start having kids, especially girls, I ain't gonna say it. no. I still come ratchet. Oh, okay. It depends, cause and that ain't no, cause see, to them it's more of even when they hear now they can recognize like, what you say. Well, I don't just, cause I want just, I ain't want to just. Okay, this is me, so I gotta let you know at the end of the day, this is me. But when it comes to how you should be treated, how you should be talked to, mm-hmm. how you should be outside the music, where it's like after that music go off. You back to, you okay. understand everything I done styled thing. Okay. Make it make sense. For sure. Make it make sense. Let's talk about it. Uh, you you jammed that hoe. Uh, you 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 uh you sampled that easy on that startup. You yep. know, you know what I'm talking about? I love it. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, nigga, dun, y'all better go. I, I'm, I'm checking everything out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the music was hard, too. Like, like what made you make that one? What was the whole concept behind it? Like, what was what I really got on that one from the, uh, who was that? From the H-Time when I did 50-50 Twin. Man, 
Boy, them boys went stupid back you in the day. Like, nigga. Boy, I them got boy. ways on my mind. <laughs> That's what I really I know I know it's the easy yeah, 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 They yeah. want to inspire me to do it. Let's be real. Let's yeah, be that's real. What inspired me to do it you gotta sure. understand these generations that passed on so niggas don't reduplicate and remake cause <laughs> I seen Slim Thug take a whole uh uh it was a whole California uh, 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 album and just diss like the hell yeah. out of uh, everybody in in the whole north. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You remember sure. that? Yeah, I remember so that. he took that whole album. So yeah. now you think of them songs the way like you just said. Like damn, I remember Fifty Fifty Two. I hate that this even happened, man. But it happened though. That's that just that's just happen. a part of it, Slim, bro. That's my dog too. I'm talking <laughs> about Slim. Me like one of the best to ever do it. When he it comes definitely to the best to ever do it. I'm one of Texas Slim, shit, stop back playing. Oh, why my independent game over back? I always say my friend kill him like Slim. Slim, Slim, I'm gonna turn my hat back. I'm finna kill him like Slim. New Bentley, new Rose Royce. I'm finna go crazy like Slim. Slim, Slim like my motivator because he doing this shit on the day. Slim get on the ground, put up 20, 30 cars every day. That's right. Man. Living with I see this nigga all in goddamn Beijing or somewhere. Man. <laughs> he had a damn Chinese hat on. Yeah, he had a whole Chinese hat on the other day. Fuck with Slim. Man. <laughs> I, I love Jada out of death like. I'm talking about the devil. I want to see that niggas just pee like then pray on that boy body like nigga love him so it's like I be hating when real niggas even. But play. they just had a little old situation, man. It's Y'all just still hate when real niggas They play. brothers, man. And me coming from the north and they coming out there north. So I, <laughs> see, look, bro, I look at this north shit so different, but it's like from you damn nigga, I be from out there. I understand? So it's like me coming out there north and seeing them like the two top niggas ever come out there north. So it's like, but it just meant it was like, damn, I'm like, I get that together. And I just hate that it even happened. That can't even be a backstory, but it like shit happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Man. Making them close to anything. It really did. Like boys, they came though. after that. If you think about it, they came after that and did a lot of sure. music. Went the crazy. whole movement went crazy. Touched the world. So a lot of times. That's pruning, bro. That's cutting and making things to where it can be better later on. So yep. all those bad times equal a whole bunch of good times. You know what I'm talking about? For sure. So that's the whole game, man. I think I'll... What's the other... Let me see. Let me see. Man, like I said, you one of them H-Town, man. You H-Town to the core, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> you yep. H-Town to the core. You know what I'm saying? Let me see my phone, man. <laughs> Got him, yeah, man. man. <laughs> I really can't. I love to hear shit so much, but it's like, it's in style with them. That's why I cheers the OGs, the niggas. Man. Yeah, before for them, before, hey, I be teaching younger niggas because they don't really be knowing that. I be trying to put it in their head. Like, bro, you got it. Because they probably don't see it like, damn, oh, bro, them, because they probably too young to even see it and see it and feel it. So I just been styling like, bro, you you crazy. You got to go. You ain't, you went on, you, you got to go back check that out. Or, no, I'm saying I just been stopping because that shit means so much and it's hard to do what we doing, but to go through all this shit we be going through as a rapper, bro, and go in that boot and still try to come produce, on, man. But this shit hard, man. This come shit on, not man. easy, but nah. nigga, emotions fit and all that. Nigga want to do something else too, so bro, when I'm coming, this shit not easy to come up At with. All. People don't understand because it's shit you got to come out where you got to think. What if I'm emotional or anything that day? I don't want to be. I still gotta go in there and try to do this shit to hear a thousand million other people from just hearing it come from me. Uh, it should be hard. And not even just that. When you're emotional, you have to go on stage and perform mm-hmm. and give that energy. For sure. Do you ever have to like, um, I know nowadays a lot of people talk about counseling, but a lot of people are still against it. Some people don't feel like going to it. What What are your thoughts on counseling? Because just to help get your mind right, talk to somebody who n- know nothing about you, legally binded, can't tell nobody nothing about you type yeah. of thing. How do you feel about that? I wouldn't go to counseling, but I think it's needed for some people. I think you just need an outlet, you know what I'm saying? When you be holding all that shit in, like, so much got, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it turned to like a disease, and mm-hmm. that's why down to 90% of the world depressed, like, which people don't, people want to know, why I'm feeling bad, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, people, people be depressed and don't even know they depressed, right. like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think it's needed, though. An outlet is needed. It's just me prefer, I wouldn't do counseling, because, I got people I can talk to and God, I'm, you know what I'm saying, connected mm-hmm. good, and I got people I can let it out to, but I think everybody need an outlet. Like, man, you holding that shit in, you're gonna become broke mentally. You know, when you become broke mentally, it's like everything is down from there. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying, you can't even see positive. And be able to turn that other person on, because whenever you have to, whenever you have to, like, say, example, perform, and you in a bad mood and so forth, you have to put on a whole nother persona. Sure. You have to put on, you know, OTB fast lane now compared to, you know, behind the scenes you are just yeah, you. For sure. What's the difference between OTB fast lane compared to you on a regular basis? How different are they? Are they the same? 
I'm different. It's like when I'm on stage, I'm turned in real life. I'm just, I'm just laid back, chilling every day like this. Like when I'm on stage, I get on that. Uh, there you go. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that world. Like I just, it just click. You know, and then I just turn on. That's how I know it's a gift God bless me with. Cause it just hit. But it's like it's a semi difference. But but when it comes to interacting with the fans, I talk to them like I've been knowing them 20 years. So mm-hmm. it's, like, it's nothing different. Like say, if like if it's a meet and greet or something. Or oh, I just get, even when I get on the microphone, I talk every show. I make sure I stop the music, say something, make let them know I'm regular, just like y'all. I'm going through shit just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I stop the music between one or two songs and connect with them. That's talk good. about real life shit, like not know or I'm in the chains I got on. Fuck out. Let us talk about something I know. I'm going through. A, somebody in that crowd might be going through a. 10, 20, or two, 300 mm-hmm. people going through. We can get a message from it. Know what I'm Where you get that from? Or you just started doing that on your own? Man, I just thought, I ain't gonna lie, I really just started doing it. I just started doing it and I seen like, oh, I know I, I this is something I always wanted to do just growing up, just seeing like, then Jada, I just seen him like, you know what I'm saying, been to concerts, he connecting with them four different ways. So it was like, I was one of my way, I can connect with these people. Like, mm-hmm. First I was looking for when I just knew, man, I just gotta talk about what I'm, I just gotta preach, get on this stage, talk about what I'm going through, it's gonna relate, somebody going through it too. Well, how, bi- how big okay. I mean, How big was that gangster when you when you did it? Like, like with, you know, with Slim, you just were talking about Slim, so yeah. how big was it to connect with him and do that song? And, sure. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, Boston George and, yeah. and who else on that damn? It was my, propane, propane, nigga. My nigga, <laughs> my, nigga <laughs> baby, my nigga, baby. My nigga, baby. My nigga, baby. That's the one I'm going to call. He going to pick Bro, that phone up. Propane one of the really <laughs> nigga in this shit. That's how you'll be a successful nigga. I'm going to be big in the world of Houston, man, with this new gym I would tell you. But if you can hustle like South Walker, not the new generation, but if you can hustle like South Walk, you can put that shit on like Lil Jeremy, you can rap like Fast Lane, and love the culture like Propane, man. You know, That's it. That's all the rap. artists. Ooh. Real talk, I'm tell you, just all let together, bro, it's crazy. Real wow. talk, Propane one of the realest niggas in. I be telling niggas all the time, Propane, he really like the jail to this shit. Like, nigga don't even know him, but Propane a real nigga, bro. Man, I can tell you, I can For feel sure. it when I call him, mm-hmm. and we get to FaceTime and having a good time, and just just talking about you know the culture of Houston. Like when I want to hear like what's going on, I call him, and he lays me with the game. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. he told me about you, know you when I first time. met him. For yeah, sure. he's a genuine person, he, and he, he, he show love, that. man. He gonna try to help you. He gonna call Pow Wow. He gonna call these niggas. He gonna he gonna For do sure. whatever I ask and him to do. Know what's going but on? Be yeah, he whoever. Knew. He gonna be like, E man, let me call him. And no, nah, you ain't talk to Slim. I'm to go work out with him, he gonna tell me like he sure. he rock with me, and he I ain't know what's going on. I ain't turning yeah. my back on propane. Propane called me probably get that tenth eye, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get nigga, that man. bag, nigga. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so I want to know your top three artists of all time, dead They're or alive. alive. Any yeah. genre. We do that every show. Any genre. There go another thing we do every show, nigga. Okay. You know what I'm <laughs> Any genre. Top three artists of all time. And this is your top three. Fast Lane. Uh huh. Lane Luther. <laughs> he ain't right. He can't do that. Lipsky. He can't do that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, who's the who's the top? It could be. It could be. Uh, don't say my. Everybody say Michael Jackson. Everybody say Michael Jackson, Tupac. What, okay, and, okay, but and who I else? Get, and I don't really want to give out my top. I was like, then like my gumball. It's like it's too ready for me to give it out <laughs> to you. It can change though. It changes. It can change. Who right now? Now I'm just my favorite. Cause my favorite is like where I get all my shits from. Like, so you don't saying? want nigga to know how you coming? Yeah, it's really like the nah. recipe. It's too early to pick that motherfucker. But it's only three. I'm Just sure get, you oh, have more than three Give me favorites. a camouflage or something. Tell me three pe- three people that you rock with that you say, man, they hard. You know, and it could be it could be R and B. It could be anything. Any, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. It can be country. I fuck with the millions. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. That's so. why I got these boys shook it. I got the millions. Who got the millions? I got the millions. I listen to all kind of music. So who be okay, number look. one? Juvenile. That's okay. all. Right. Number two. J Dog. Okay. Number three. Oh shit. Okay. It's t- Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I told them three, okay? The other two is like between two motherfuckers. Like I fuck with Future Heart and this nigga named Chris Groove. He like from Miami. So which one is it? You can only pick one. Mm. 
It's future, man. I'm going to go. No, I fuck with future too. Future, I want to get out of Hold but on. my other boy, he like street nigga. Come from my own free cook yeah. group. Like, so is it is it is, like, is it him? Yeah, dog. Like it's it's different shit I done got from him. Like on his microphone, like his yeah. dog. Even the side say juvenile J dog. We just can say future still juvenile. That's all. Okay. Like juvenile. Like that's why I got my format from. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Juvenile used to have the hardest raw street CDs. Yeah, yeah. He gonna say though. He gonna say crazy shit like the most like. Can't keep all like, you got the potting clean, huh? You got a lot of your Yeah, you know, uh, some of yeah, your yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. So that's, he showed me just how to say just off the wall shit because people they want to hear that type yeah, of shit. Yeah, they and, do. In album form, C form, like our juvenile son, his biggest songs was always songs for the females, Trent song back that ass, so she get it from her mama. So if you just go pay attention to my music, but it's, his CDs full of that street shit, like. That's how my shit be like. My biggest song would be probably Turn Up Party. Woo, woo, woo. It's for the females, even if like my baby, my baby like the slow records. But when they get in the street, it's like, and I heard Pac say like just, hey, you rap for the, get the females, you win. You mm, know what I'm he right. Jada, I got the pain and aggression from him. Like you listen to some of the real records, like like the Fuck the City or like the Sun I was I about to say that. Off. I was going to ask which one you like the best. Like, fuck, fuck the City up or walk. Fuck the city up. Oh, that's yeah? coming from a different place. You <laughs> okay. know what I'm saying? That's coming from a different place. So, like, I got that from Jada. Even just connecting with these people, and he just showed me, like, because Jada, I used to be in the right before I was just taking on the whole, man, him in the car every day. Me, him, and Peanut, we getting high. We just excited. We getting high about this shit. Tell me, I mean, you tell you, bro, what you got? You finna do something crazy. They finna fuck with you. We, we getting high. We been knowing them forever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it was like it's it's a super personal with him, like the connection of him. And I just seen he tag this how you gonna get these people. I make these people love you gotta be you. And this a thing can't have motives, but I gotta be genuine, bro. This shit gotta be can't go on here trying to get everybody to love you with motives. They're your only motives. Like that's like my, my only reason for fucking with y'all just cause y'all can for y'all to fuck with me and do whatever I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. But when it's genuine, it's just gonna work better. He just something be genuine about this shit, but any people gonna love you. Just that's be all, you and be all. genuine. He right. He so right. Jay Dye really gave me that future. He just like the bro. I then I just want to have. Then I feel like me and him relate so many ways. Like just he just showed me future. Showed me with a hook game, bro. You unstoppable. Like this is almost like down there on basketball, nigga. That's not to shoot the ball. He done ain't got. Sh- but if I can step carry this motherfucker all game, like I'm gonna play anywhere I go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know how to put that motherfucker in the hole. It's like that's with the hook game. Like I don't think. As long as I can go in there and make some kitchen, sit on these beats right, I'm going to always win. I just got to consistently do it from that future show, man, just how long he been doing it. Like, man, the man down there farther and farther, like, and going crazy still to this day, show me, like, man, as long as you working out in mid future, had real talks with him, man, shout out to Jeremy and Jeremy out there. I don't know if you heard the record with Jeremy and Future. We out there, I'm out there, when they putting it together, like, he a real one. Gave us some real games. Hey, man, y'all need to be shooting videos every day, recording every day, like, I had a moment with that nigga, I never wow, forget. So future you know shows some mad show. love to me. Really. He was one of the regular realists. I done been around a bunch of rappers. Niggas act, I got, you got niggas following the studio, they like, hey, you ain't heard about the 30 bodies I caught last month? You got them type of niggas up. Man, oh yeah, I just made 700,000 this weekend up. You know, just, you got yeah, niggas be capping yeah. feature like the bees in there in the rap game. Been around him, he act regular, but how we acting right now? That's hard. Regular nigga. That's like, hard. He ain't on nothing cap, acting no different. Like, he just chilling. Floating around by himself, smoking, passing the blunts, hitting it. Hey, you kicking it. Yeah, for sure. Because that's, that's, that's peace. Mm-hmm. See, he ain't out here agitating and frustrating the grace. Mm-hmm. Real. That's real. Like, like, and and, and we finna wrap this thing up, man. Um, let me see if I can ask you something. I, have a question. I got one thing I gotta say. Well, I'm gonna let you go because mine gonna be so powerful. <laughs> you know, I asked that powerful. I got that power punch. When we end this whole, I end this whole with a power punch. Everybody know it. Okay. You know what I'm <laughs> go ahead. Um, with tell me which song, if there's any of your songs that you were emotional when you were writing it or rapping it in the studio. When I say emotional, you know, like. Something happened and you was just mad, he was angry, or you was happy and you're like, man, I gotta get in the studio, I gotta go do this. And it just all poured out, like, you know that that feeling? Yeah. Which song was that? I got a couple of legendary, okay. uh, Lost for Words. Damn. You can fuck the city up. Uh, I'm trying to think of a song. 
cold world. They don't like all my pain ones that just on some. Niggas then they feeling bitches tripping. Why well, yeah. don't fuck with you? Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the ones like that is like, man, I just had some mess. It was in me. Why? But God would take me through shit for a reason. Because if he didn't, then I couldn't do that type of shit. That's why I, exactly. I really used to be complaining about so much shit. I just happened to have great to be on my new journey, man. Because every time he tell me something, I go produce one of them motherfuckers or two or three or four. I might go in and go crazy, do five songs one night just. Them type of motherfuckers are like, it'd be like, damn, if I ain't go through that shit, I would never went in there and did that. That's why I know this shit be happening for a reason. Just God just That's be real. with nigga. That's like, real. And once you get it off your chest, you yeah. feel good about it? Like, it's therapy. It's therapy. It's therapy. It's therapy. It's therapy. It's therapy. Like, stop playing. I'm ready to do whatever nigga want to do after it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it just be like this. So I get it out of my chest and it just be, I'm ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to give it to the world. I'm ready to do whatever nigga want to do after it. It's like, it's like, you know how you can be angry with something or and you just get it off and you mm -hmm. just feel good from getting it off. It's like, yeah. Man, sure. Man, you know, we gonna, we gonna really wrap this thing up, man. One of the things that I always ask, ain't all that, but you know, you done took my <laughs> question, nigga. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I wasn't gonna ask that. No, you got I it. I know you did. But, but like, like, when you look at who you are as a person today, like, and and basically, if you wasn't able to be here and you was able to talk, if somebody was going to tell your story from 6200 West Tidwell all the way up to now, like, like what would you want them to say if you couldn't speak for yourself? I mean, whatever they feel, they should say. As far as your legacy yeah. goes now, we talking legacy. Cause I feel like I done laid, I done, I done laid the law down, right? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's going to be good energy fucking with me. It's good energy not like you ain't going to really hit too much fucked up shit with me because I just... I'm silent in, I just I just keep it genuine and fair. You know what I'm saying? I got I'm a person to understand. I know how to understand shit from both sides before I react, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I can see it all kind of way. So it's like I just feel like I feel like, man, it's gonna get the love gonna be shown, like, you know what I'm saying? I just it ain't feel like I know it's gonna be I know it's gonna be shown. Cause mm -hmm. I just know what I put out here on the daily. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's I know it's gonna be I know it's gonna be shown, like. Thank you for coming on the show. For sure. Man. We love you, man. Sure. Boss Talk 101 got mad Living love for, for life, you, nigga. For sure. Stop playing. I appreciate now you on Boss Talk here. 101. See, this is this the best interview the nigga ever done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really, like, it's a lot of them, like, they, they kind of cool, and I liked them. But this, this one here, this, this the best one, one nigga. <laughs> the best one in the building. Boss Talk 101, man, for where sure. the bosses talk. And we out.